Okay, wow, well, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, that's not what I'm doing at all. Um, the song has been stuck in my head since like seventh grade. That's been a while. Um, like ten years. I just had to get that song out of my head. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys um, about something really random. Uh, but I wasn't sure if it it was just me um, or was this happening to anybody else. Um, so this is my story. Uh, it's a paranormal activity story. So if you don't like that or if, like you don't like talking about that, then you can click out of this video. Um, <clears throat> it's not even a good story, man. Um, so the first time I saw a paranormal activity, um, I saw it with my boyfriend last year. It's like, no matter what I do, do not like let me convince you to take me to go see paranormal activity. Like that's a bad idea. Bad news bears. Do not let it happen. So we go see the movie and um, I'm going to spoil the movie for you. And I'm probably going to ruin the second one too because I saw that one also. Um, but so we see the movie. I cover up my eyes for like half of the movie because I love horror movies but I can't look at them. Like I can't see people getting hurt. I can't see scary things. I just like to be there in the theater when everyone else is screaming. Is that weird? Anyways, so um, we see the movie and we go home and you know uh, as we're driving home we're just talking about it. We're just like oh yeah that was that was kinda creepy. Not that sc It was like you know the very end got a little creepy. This, that, the other. You know leaves you uh, thinking I guess a little bit about you know the goal of the movie is to leave you wondering what every um, you know creak or knock is just, you know, your house settling, or is it a demon? You know, that was kind of like the underlying idea behind the movie. And so, um, and at that time, I lived by myself in an apartment, and I hadn't really had any problems um, being alone. I just, I got used to it really fast. I had a cat, you know. So, um, anyways, so we go back to my apartment, and, and um, the following takes place within an hour after seeing the movie. So after seeing the movie driving home, this takes place. Um, we go back to my room and we're just gonna like, you know, watch TV in there for the rest of the night and go to bed. And um, so he's in my room watching TV and I decide I, I need to go to the bathroom. So I'm in the bathroom peeing and all of a sudden blackout. Complete blackout. I see. I can't see anything. I hear the TV cut off in the next room, and um, the way I keep wanting to put these earrings in, but I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it. They're cute though. They're cute. Ouch! Look at those bad boys. They're cute. Old lady chic, I call it. Anyways, so um, don't mind my ADD. So uh, I'm in the bathroom. It's pitch black. I freak out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I can't like see anything. It's, I'm like in um, that scene at the very end of quarantine when that woman is playing the invisible piano. She's just like in the dark, shaking her hands, trying to trying to find something. You know that was like me. Only I was on the toilet, and I was both looking for the light switch, the doorknob, and the toilet paper. And I was just like, oh my god. So, you know, immediately I start you know screaming, Joey's name was my boyfriend's name. I started screaming his name. Now, pause, cut, reverse. If you've seen the end of Paranormal Activity, you'll know that at the very end, um, Katie gets possessed, and she uh, wanders off in the middle of the night downstairs or into the dark and starts screaming her boyfriend's name. She's like, Mika, Mika, and then you know, he comes after her and she kills him and gets really creepy. So, as this is happening, I hear my boyfriend in the next room, and just from the tone of his voice, I know, I know that he's, he's in the zone, and I know that he thinks that that is happening to him, because like, it's exactly like the movie, something really freaky happens, and I'm just like screaming his name, and I can hear him, he's just like, uh, yeah, come in the bedroom, and I'm like, I can't see anything, keep in mind, the hallway is, um, gets no light, it's like behind the rest of the apartment, and like, you can go down the hallway to get to the, the kitchen, 
or to the bedroom or to the bathroom so it's there's no light that comes in anyways so I can't see anything and he's got at least the light from outside coming in so I'm just like screaming and finally finally he like grabs his phone and he like makes his way down the hallway and I can like see I can see like in the distance like the phone coming and I was like it's okay it's just me I swear it's me it's me I'm not gonna kill you I mean it was just crazy and he definitely needed some convincing that I wasn't like a demon talk about you know relationship problems no but um it was really weird and um later on we found out that I just happened to blow a, a fuse I had too much happening in my bathroom hallway bedroom area and I flipped the switch you know um that's never happened to me before in that apartment and it never happened after that and in life that's only happened to me just once on a horrible 4th of July when I was working an 8 hour shift at Ben and Jerry's and all the ice cream melted maybe that was a demon too I mean it was horrible fish fish food soup there were little kids who were crying anyways so maybe I do have a demon following me and turning off all my electrical appliances anyhow um yeah it was just really creepy and really weird and it stuck with us and then after that, we tried to lay down, and um, my apartment was on a first floor, where like um, right in front of the parking lot, so I could always hear people getting in and out of their cars and like their headlights and stuff. And some for some reason, at like one o'clock in the morning, this car pulled up, um, and just kind of like sat there with its lights on. And I'm not sure if it was the lights or if it was reflecting off of something, but this like red light was shining into my bedroom on the wall and we were just like looking at each other and looking at the light and looking at each other and looking at the light and I mean it was a mess we were terrified I think he slept over my house for like a week and then after that we both agreed that we were gonna sleep with the lights on and I started drinking wine before I went to bed anyways then then I got over it nothing happened and then I saw then I saw Paranormal Activity 2 uh, last weekend and this weekend, because I'm stupid. And, um, like, it didn't scare me enough the first time I had to go see it again, because I was sleeping too well at night. And um, I come, I spent the night at his house, and I come back to my apartment, and um, I had a trash bag in my room. And I'm trying to get to sleep, and it's like 2 in the morning, and I keep hearing, like, a rustling sound, like a scratching, rustling sound. And I'm like, what is that? Is that the wind blowing the, the bag? Just because uh, I just moved in, so I'm always like, I'm still in the process of unwrapping a lot of stuff, and I just put everything in a trash bag. Um, and I'm just like, what is going on? And it, it had me all shook up, like to the point where I just decided to go sleep in the living room. But then I couldn't sleep in the living room because I kept thinking about the scene in Paranormal Activity 2 where the girl gets covered in that cloud of dark smoke and wakes up violently, and I didn't want that to happen to me either. So... Uh, I was definitely in a delicate situation. So I decided to confront my fears. I had my phone and my computer on my bed, just in case, you know, I had to suddenly tweet. I don't know why I thought a phone or a computer would save me from whatever was uh, harassing me. But I did. And um, I just stood there in front of the trash bag. Oh, the thing was, I would hear this noise. When I was like, I'd be in bed on the computer, not looking up porn, guys. Maybe a little, but anyways. I would hear this noise, and I would stop what I was doing, and I kept hearing it. And then I would get up and move, and it would stop. I was like, what the hell? And then later, I'd you know be quiet again. And after a couple minutes, I would hear this noise, and I'd get up, and I'd turn on the light, and it would stop. So I knew, I knew for a fact it was something that... You know, it wasn't just a fluke. It's something new that I was moving around, which had me, like, practically hysterical. I think I had, like, 12 tweets within the span of, like, five minutes, just freaking out. Um, so finally I went to confront this trash bag, and I heard the rustling. I just stood in front of it for a long time until it, like, thought I went away. And I could see, like, within the wrinkles of the trash bag, something was moving. And I, I lost my shit, and I grabbed the trash bag. And I threw it in the kitchen, and the next morning, um, there was a mouse in the kitchen, and I named it Ralph. 
So chances are it was probably that mouse because we've never had a mouse before. And um, now we have one. And I'm pretty sure he was trying to take up residence in my trash bag. So um, lesson learned when moving into new apartments, make sure that there are no mice. Make sure you don't watch paranormal activity. Um, yeah, so anyways, my question to you guys is, um, do you, did anything like that happen to you? And, um, do you believe in stuff like that? And what did you think of the movie? Because I thought it was kind of good. I thought the second one kind of like filled in a lot of holes that the first one left. It was like a prequel and a sequel, but my boyfriend thought it was really stupid. But maybe it's because I already told him everything that was going to happen because I'm that person. I was like, oh, a bird's going to fly into the window. Oh, that pot's going to fall off the rack. Oh, oh, that dog's going to fall. I was like so annoying. Anyway, so opinions. All 15 of you watching this video, please say something. Don't make me feel like a creep. And um, so that's that. No more mice. No more demons. Well, maybe just one. <laughs>